White House is now saying that it will not really publicly mark the health care law's two-year anniversary, which happens this Friday. That date comes just two days, ironically, before the Supreme Court will take up the constitutionality of President Obama's signature law. Moments ago, a group of Republican lawmakers demanded that the law be ripped up, literally. Here is Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman on the Hill. Watch. The American people expect no less. They want this bill repealed. And we're standing here today to say, American people, the president of the United States down the street at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue may but not be listening to you, but we in Congress have not forgotten you. We're listening. We're not giving up until we full square repeal this bill. DeRoy Murdoch is a syndicated columnist and a Fox News contributor. This is his first appearance as a contributor on the network, and we welcome you. It's Thank great you to have much. you with us, Thank DeRoy. Uh, and boy, you're with us at such a pivotal time in something that you have written and talked about in great detail because we are just a couple of days away from the Supreme Court taking up this legislation. So I guess in light of that, it's not a huge surprise that there aren't big celebrations on Friday to mark what he's called his signature legislation, the president. Well, it's not just that the uh, law goes before the Supreme Court on Monday. Uh, but I think he's trying to maintain a low profile because this law is so unpopular. Uh, when this law passed, they said as the American people get to learn more about it, they will like it more and more, and the opposite is, is the case. Right now, according to a recent Washington Post poll, 52 percent of the American people oppose this law, and 67 percent want to see it uh, repealed in, in, in part or in whole. So I think uh, President Obama is trying to maintain a low profile because the more he talks about this, the more he upsets the American people. You know, both sides have relied on the CBO numbers over the course of this debate. Uh, to make their case. The new CBO numbers on the, of the cost of this program might be something else that they want to maintain a low profile about at the White House. Yeah, the uh, CBO recently uh, recalculated that the 10-year uh, cost of uh, Obamacare, when it was sold to us uh, two years ago on Friday, uh, it was $940 billion. They've taken another look at it. They've added two more years of, of the full implementation of the law, and the cost is now up to about $1.8 trillion. So it's gone up 87% in just under two years. I think Obamacare may do for health care what the big, did, big dig in Boston did for uh, public works. Yeah, and we know what happened with that. Uh, in, in terms of family costs, premium costs, which we were told, you know, that the costs would rise initially uh, as part of the implementation of the plan and sort of the rocky road that would happen in the beginning, but then they would start to fall dramatically over time. How's that argument holding up? Uh, not very well. Uh, this law was supposed to cut the average family's health care costs by $2,500. Instead, they've gone up by 2200 Now, they may go back down some, but it's already $4,700 out of whack from where we uh, were told it would be, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation. I know personally my, my most recent uh, increase in health insurance premiums, premiums, I think, have gone up 9 percent. That's on top of about 8 or 9 percent last year. So we just have seen every, all costs go up in terms of uh, public spending, expend, uh, public expenditures, health insurance premiums. We just see costs going up, up, and away. There's a very well-produced movie that the president's uh, campaign team has, has rolled out. And in it, he talks very passionately about why health care was so important to him, his mother's own experiences, uh, and, and his belief that this is really the most... Uh, the most important legislation that he has been able to get through because people who weren't insured before will now have coverage, and he finds that very comforting. Is that true? I think that uh, I think everyone understands that we had huge problems that with problems with the system as it existed when this law was passed and even yeah. today. But there's a difference between saying let's do something to help people who don't have insurance versus let's turn everything upside down for all 313 million Americans and create this massive, complicated, unresponsive, bureaucratic nightmare that which uh, we have coming down the pike. And if it's not repealed, it's just going to make matters much worse than they were before. Joy Murdoch, thank you. Great Thanks to have you on board. Here. We hope to see you here on a regular basis uh, my, in America. I hope my Israel. presence here doesn't do anything to threaten uh, this network's 10-year winning streak oh, in the ratings. Oh, no, I don't think so. I think it will contribute <laughs> greatly. Thank you, very, thank you much. very much. Good to see you, Joy. Uh, they might Many worry things. about us about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, not about you, though. You're just fine. Thanks <laughs> very much.